Rough year, huh? Gotta do your laundry at work. Ha ha. Okay, you're here. Tell me if this looks sophisticated to you. But maybe without that. Everything you own is sophisticated. Yeah, but I don't want it to be too much. I want it to be, like, assertive but still fashionable. So you called me over here to go through your clothes? No, I need your help. Okay. What's it for? A date. What about this one? I mean, it's really pretty, but maybe a little bit too much. It's not like we're going to a wedding yet. Well, depends. Uh, who's it with? A uh, former client here. This guy? Yeah, Patrick. Great, if you like successful, ripped. Oh, look how tan this guy was. What is he, a model? <laughs> I know, right? What about this one? Just like with different shoes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. Grant! Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It brings out your eyes. You're not paying attention, are you? I, I am. It looks, it looks good. I like it. How may I help you? Hi, uh, will you tell... I'm sorry. Elizabeth Bennett. Oh, sure. What time works for you? Uh, that should work. OK, see you then. Always on the phone. <laughs> Part of the job. <laughs> Keeping me waiting. Oh, don't start. I found something. OK. How long has this been on the market? Just listed. It's not quite as grand, but still really nice. Anyway, it might not be a perfect fit, but I think it's worth a look. OK. What? Yeah, let's see it. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's got some charm. And if you think it's worth it, then I trust you. Great. I'll set up something right away. OK. There you go. Hey, Marianne. Hey. You look like you could use something sweet. <laughs> yes, I could. What's up? It's just been a tough day. Thought you were meeting with the IRS guy again. Well, I was, but, um... Was he not nice? No, he's nice. Something happened. Did he ask you out? <laughs> no. What? 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 That's him. Who? Edward. You can go and talk to him. What? No. This isn't work, honey. You can go, talk to him, see if he fancies you, and ask him out. Look at me. Trust me. You can do this. I am not asking him out. Well, at least go over there and say hello. You're right. OK. I can say hello. OK, do this. How does my hair look? Oh, it's lovely. Perfect. Perfect. You're good. OK, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Oh. Yeah. Well, who was she? I don't know. But I... I just don't know how to act around him. Do you have the documentation for this schedule? Yes. Everything okay? Yeah. I think this is all we need to complete this schedule. Anything else you can think of? Nope. Are you sure you're okay? Yep. It's so awkward, and he can tell. He doesn't know that I saw him with his girlfriend or whoever she was, so it's even more awkward. Well, you should just confront him. I can't. It's not like we're dating. Yeah, but it obviously bothers you. Yeah. Because I know you like him. I do like him. And I thought he liked me. <laughs> Sorry, Eleanor. It doesn't matter. There's obviously nothing between us, even if I thought there was, so... I just saved myself from getting rejected. Well, I should love you. <sighs> I've had like 10 cupcakes today. I'm good. Hey, 
Oh, you came back. You need a break? Yes, but I am completely swamped. Just one minute, hang on, I need. Hi, Claire, can you bring me in the Patterson emails? No, I need the uh, November files, thank you. Chinese food. Thank you. Oh. So, date, huh? Yeah. You nervous? Why would I be nervous? I don't know, just dating a client? Former client. Well, well, it's mixing business with pleasure. It's risky. It's just a date, Grant. That's just it. I think it's brave of you. Okay. I mean, you know this guy pretty well. Yeah. You know all his secrets. Well, I don't know all of his secrets. Maybe those related to his divorce. Yeah, that's just it. Somehow it didn't work the first time, but you're willing to look past that. I think it's great. Right. What's your point? Well, just, you know where the dead bodies are buried. He divorced his wife. He didn't murder her. I don't, what are you getting at? No, there's, you know all about the skeletons in the closet. You're willing to look past that. I think it's awesome. You want some? No, I'm good. Mm. It's a nice street. Quiet enough. I like the stone. You ready to go inside? Yeah. So there's plenty of bedroom space, and the master bedroom is very nice. Yeah, it could work. Now, I don't know her at all, but as for the piano, I thought that this would be the perfect music room. And this room you could make into a library or keep it as a dining room. And then there's the kitchen. I really like this space. Plenty of cabinets, beautiful countertops. It's not all top of the line, but really nice. I think that's what I like about this house. It's bright, nice accents and touches, but not too luxurious to the point where it's hard to relate to. It's beautiful and functional. I like it. Well, thanks for all your help. I'm gonna miss those pastries that got us through this audit. Yeah, you could probably cut back on the sugar. Yeah. To be honest, I think I'm gonna miss, well, spending time with someone who sees me as more than Agent Ferrer's IRS. Well, to be equally honest, I don't think I'm gonna miss all this extra work. Yeah. I bet. Well, thank you. I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind. What? I may be completely out of line here, but I... I felt a friendship between us in moments that were maybe more than that. And it could have been just me that felt that way. And if so, then, well, maybe it's just as well. But I just wanted to be honest with you. I'm in a relationship with someone for a while now, actually. And, well, it's, it's a long story, but I just didn't want you to think of me in any other way at all other than our working relationship and friendship, if I can be bold enough to label them that way. I just didn't want to lead you on, even though I may have, and even though I admire you and would really like. Anyway, that's what I came back to say. Um, thank you. All right then. Goodbye. Yes. Hey, you want to go to a movie? I can't. I've got that date, remember? Oh, that's right. You still going on that thing? Yes, why wouldn't I be going? I don't know. I thought you were picky. I'm not picky. I've got standards. 
Same difference. So, this guy meets those standards? Yes, sir. He is funny, charming, and very confident. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. So that's your list, huh? And, uh, that's what you like about this guy? There's nothing wrong with him. Well, is he funny, or does he just tell a bunch of lame jokes? Seriously? Is he charming, or does he just try too hard? He's charming. How charming can he be? The only time you've spent with this guy is when you represented him in his divorce case. Look, he's charming, trust me. What? Why are you so concerned with me going out with this guy anyway? Look, I saw the magazine cover of the guy, and I think he looks a little arrogant. I know you think that's just confidence, but I think he looks like an arrogant jerk, and I just don't want you to get hurt. That's very sweet. Would well, you want to come on the date so you can see if he's a nice guy or not? Sure. No, <laughs> you can't, so no. Come on, I could be a chaperone. <sighs> I'm hanging up now. Wait, no. <sighs> Give it a shot. You want me to get a feel about how the sellers are on the price? Yeah, um, let's discuss it over lunch. I need something to eat. So let's talk it through. What, the house? No, the pros and cons. Well, that's for you to decide. OK, I'll start. The garage. Pro or con? Pro. It's got tons of space. Guys really do look for different things in a house. <laughs> All right, your turn. OK. Hardwood floors, pro. In the kitchen, there's one con. Really? I thought you loved the kitchen. I'm being objective here. And I thought you were going to just sell me on it. Mm, I'm not like that. The con is the kitchen sink. What do you mean? There's only one. OK. Most contemporary homes have one on the island, too. Oh. Good catch. Put aside the pros and cons for a minute. How do you feel about the house in general? I like it. You know, it's, um, what'd you call it? Relatable. And the more that I think of it like that, it really suits her, you know? The other houses that we were looking at were more for me, but this suits her. It's more sensible. OK. So we're going to make an offer? Just give me the go-ahead. Go ahead. How much? Just whatever they're asking. Well, Darcy, you don't have to do that. I know, but it's under price, so let's just get it done. OK. So what got you into real estate? I wanted to work for myself, choose my own hours, not have anybody tell me what to do. But now I have clients telling me what to do all the time, so. Did you go to school? Yeah. Didn't really help in the real world, though. Not like law school. No. Even that only gets you so far. So why law? It pays well. I almost believe you. <laughs> what? That's a good reason. Yeah, only for so long. All right. Look. I can see how to fix things, and I like it. Using the law to help resolve conflict, you know? Manipulating, posturing for this great fight, but then being able to resolve the conflict civilly, you know? It's a bit more honest. And I like to argue. <laughs> oh, I hadn't noticed. I'm so good at it, right? <laughs> Hey. Hey. You're home early. Yeah. Were things with Edward? Yeah. Mm. So, what happened? He said he admires me and that he's involved with somebody else. So you did confront him? Actually, he brought it up. <laughs> That's unusual. Yeah. He admires you. What? What is that supposed to mean? Exactly. I mean, is it like a, hey, I admire your spirit, but... I keep going over it in my head, and sometimes it's romantic admiration, and other times it's very sterile IRS thumbs up admiration. Sorry. It's OK. It's not worth holding out hope for. We're waiting to see him again. I hope I don't see him again. You have any control over that? No, not really. Well, you could always quit your job. I'm not going to give up my career for some guy. Well, you're better than me. Oh, hey, you, uh, I'm going to order some food or something? 
No, I'm actually gonna get out so I don't mope about this, but thank you. So all of a sudden, this cop is just ripping up the ticket. You are joking. I'm, I'm sitting in a $300,000 sports car, and somehow this guy believes that I really can't afford another ticket. There is no, no way. No ticket. I'm telling you the truth. You are so lucky. Well, I guess when it comes to getting out of tickets, I must have nine lives. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Thank you. Mm. None for me. I really oh, shouldn't. Please. OK, just a little bit. Mmm. It's good, huh? Mmm. It's lovely. You know, I actually saw your ex the other day. Elaine? Really? I mean, I didn't say hello or anything, but... You should have. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, former spouses of my clients don't like me very much. Nah, we're past all that. We're pretty amicable now. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, just things sort of in the end, they got a little bit messy, didn't they? Yeah, but that's over. I mean, the more and more I thought about it, I wasn't as innocent as I made her think I was. I'm sure you see this a lot, but it takes two, right? I mean, it's rarely just one person's fault, and I I blamed her. Yeah, that's not uncommon. Yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't make it right, though. No, I, I could have been so much more. OK, so this, this I never see. People don't take responsibility for their part in the situation, much less make amends, like make things better with Elaine is just... She deserved it. <laughs> I mean, we both did. <sighs> well. Anyway. Another good thing came because of the divorce. Oh, yeah? What was that then? It introduced me to an exceptional woman. <laughs> hey, Grant. Hey. How's your day been? Eh. How's your day been? Eh. You want to talk about it? No, do you? Nope. Thanks. Hey, Lizzie. Hey. I'm here. Where are you guys? We're here. Oh. I have good news. What's up? So guess what happened to me today? Darcy made up his mind. That's great. Wow. Yeah, I, I found this new listing. It just popped up, and I thought that maybe if Darcy would give it a chance, it could be the house that he was looking for. Awesome. So he likes it then? Yeah, and the weird thing is he wasn't being all, you know, Darcy-like. He was listening to me and not arguing with everything I said. Thanks for lunch, by the way. You are welcome. There you go. Great. I'll send it in right away. Better hurry before I change my mind. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm just kidding. That's why I gave you the papers. OK. It's just I thought you'd have more objections. So at first, I was too picky, and now I'm too agreeable. No, of course not. So I'm not too agreeable? No. You're fine, just the way you are. Why, thank you. That's not what I Thank you. You earned it. Sounds like he was flirting with you. What? No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Eleanor on this one. He's buying the house for a woman. I doubt he was flirting with me. Mm. You say so. I doubt it. It's strictly business. I'm just looking forward to having time for other clients once this is done with. Finally. <laughs> no, see if we can push and get on another judge's schedule then. Yeah, let's try for Walden. Um, yeah, I'll have that motion drawn up by tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Hey. Hi. How's the uh, day going? It is going. Good, good. And how was the night last night? Went very well, thank you. Awesome. Well, tell me about it. Why are you so interested in that? Oh, I just want to make sure that he was a perfect gentleman. Well, yes, he was a perfect gentleman. <laughs> good. So tell me, what else happened? What'd you do? We went to dinner, and it was just nice to see him outside of work. It was, it was actually the, honestly the nicest day I've been on in forever. Wow. Miss Woodhouse, these just came for you. Oh my, they're lovely. Who's this from? Oh, from Patrick. Oh, of course. Oh, that's so sweet. Glad it went well. They're lovely, aren't they? All right, so I should, I'm gonna get out of here. I should get back to work, so. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later.
So how was your date? Yeah, it was, it was fine. What happened? Well, so he was everything I expected. Funny, charismatic, and we talked so easily. And there's no arguing on how handsome he was. Over dessert, there was just this moment. And I knew that if I go out with him again, I'm going to end up falling for him. OK, well, that sounds pretty much perfect. <laughs> so what's wrong? I mean, it was perfect, but I'm also pretty sure it was the exact same date he took his ex-wife on. Really? How do you know? Because during their divorce, he was reminiscing about how they met and things, and it was the exact same restaurant, in cheesecake for dessert, kissing in the moonlight, flowers the next day. Hold on. You guys kissed? There was definitely some kissing. But the point is, you know, I just can't shake this feeling that I'm headed down the same road he and his ex-wife went down. Ex-wife, number two. Well, love requires you to put yourself out on a limb. Well, even if I know how he made a kerfuffle of his last marriage, and now he says he's changed and he learned from it, but... Well, don't you believe him? Yeah, but it's just, if I go on another date with him and let this relationship develop, what if I'm too far down that road to see any of the other warning signs? Well, you can't go through a relationship just looking for warning signs. You have to give it an honest go. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Do you think it's worth the risk? <sighs> Perfect timing. Why is that? I got you something. What for? To cheer you up. Oh, Marianne. I shouldn't have. Come on, open it. I don't get it. Well, pick one. <laughs> OK. Oliver? Ooh, good choice. What? Well, OK, these are all the guys that I know. Well, sort of. OK. So you pick a name, I'll show you his picture, and if you like him, he's all yours. Oliver, okay. Look at him, he's so cute, huh? <sighs> yeah, but how many of these guys have you dated? Not as many as you would think. Uh, most are just regulars from work. This is really sweet, especially coming from you. Oh, come on, don't you want to know more about him? Sure. Okay. He comes in every Monday, and he dresses very trendy, so I'm thinking he's in fashion. I can't do fashion. Okay, fine, pick another one. I don't like him. I can just tell. H. His name's H? Well, that's all that was on his credit card for this first name. I'm thinking H stands for Hank. But he's got this really cute dog that he brings and ties up outside. He always asks for a cup of water to give the dog a drink. It's so cute. Except this one time I did see him drink out of the same cup as the dog. But maybe that was unintentional. Next. <laughs> 